here's the thing about the family that I kept hearing in my head as I watched the series. Even though they may not take any direct action, if they're really Christian, then they have to understand you'll understand a tree. You'll know a tree by the fruit it bears. And so all of the conservative action that is bearing that's coming out of it, all of the anti LGBTQ rights that are spreading across the globe, all of this action. This is how we know who the family is, because without them, a lot of this would not be taking place. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, and they have been, in fact, uh, uh, the really the key intercessors, a uh, uh, story I wasn't able to dig into in the Netflix series by telling the book, but it gives you an example. Senator Chuck Grassley, Republican of Iowa, current yeah. senator, although this is a story from earlier in his career, in the, uh, the East African nation of Somalia. This is when the dictator Saad Bari was in power. Now, Saad Bari was an unlikely prospect for American patronage. He called himself a Quranic Marxist. He, hmm. all over the country, hung these sort of, these uh, uh, triple pictures, uh, Marx, Muhammad, and him in the middle. He thought he <laughs> was the th- synthesis of this. However, when, uh, you know, that Cold War winding down, he loses the Soviet patron. He needs a backer for his regional conflicts. Senator Chuck Grassley to the rescue, hmm. who says, look, all I want you to do is pray to Jesus. And the reason I use this example is because Saad Bari, the Somali dictator is blunter than most in his correspondence, which I found in the family's archives. He says, yeah, I'll pray to Jesus uh, with these American politicians. And here's what I want in return. I want, um, I want guns. Mm. I want military aid. He says, I want high level white house level meetings. And I want an American hands off policy while I crack down on a rebel group in the North. And the family wrote back in effect, done, done and done. Wow. And so it was an historical record. He cracked down on that rebel group in the North and then one of the South, the West, the East. He destroyed his country. He laid biblical waste to his country. Now, <laughs> Brother Grassley, Senator Chuck Grassley, his brother in Christ, did he hold him accountable? Not a peep, not a word. Let's... That wasn't the point. Uh, the point was power and the point was business that both were served by that missionary expedition you tell uh the story of how they describe the parable about the wolf and the sheep right and how christ in the bible goes after the sheep and then the family's inclination is but who's going to go after the wolf and this is what they do across the globe. They go after the wolves, the people, the strong man, the dictator, the authoritarians, the people who brutalize their their masses. And yet they claim that this is the Christian thing to do, even though that viewpoint is completely antithetical to the parable. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it, it, it you know, it's not antithetical if you rewrite scripture. <laughs> if you this idea of Jesus plus nothing, and Jesus is uh, whatever you need it to be. I think of uh, one of my interviews with uh, then Senator Sam Brownback, and he's currently uh, Trump's ambassador for international religious freedom, which sounds nice until you understand that yeah. uh, he's using that to uh, promote sort of Christian right values uh, globally. Um, and I asked him, I went to him and I, I said, I want to understand your fierce anti LGBTQ politics. And so I, I said, let's talk about Leviticus. Let's talk about the various biblical passages. And he said, you know, I'll be honest with you. I haven't really read those. Huh. I said, well, where does this come from then? He says, Jesus just put it on my heart. <sighs> and, and, and it gets worse than that because, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I was going deep with uh, uh, Senator Brownback. Uh, I actually traveled to Kansas. I interviewed his parents, uh, his high school classmates, his Sunday school teacher. And they were uniform. They said they were conservatives, but they were kind of mind your own business conservatives. They said he didn't learn that anti gay <laughs> hate here. That's something he learned in Washington. I went back to Senator Brownback and he said that's something he learned in the family. When he started working with them as a young intern on Capitol Hill, they shaped his whole career. And they gave him a whole different scripture than the one most of us would find mm. in their Bibles. 